Hello. My name is Timothy Trespass. And I'm a human being who's found himself targeted by persons unknown for reasons unknown. Uh, and have been made quite sick by whatever these people have done. And uh, anyway, uh, once, several years ago, when I was maybe in my 20s, I was just beginning this spiral of poverty and depression and joblessness. place where I used to work and I had no money and I was quite hungry and I, had, I didn't know what to do so I was praying to God, God please if you can help me just help me get a, a food enough to eat, something to eat, a sandwich, anything, a piece of bread and as I was walking the, the road was a, a fork, it was you know instead of going outward in two directions it was coming in to the, the apogee of the triangle, the, the meeting place of these two roads, and, and there was a payphone there. It's no longer there, but and the payphone began to ring as I approached it. And me, being who I am, always answer the phone. And I picked it up and I said hello, and there was no sound. And I said hello, and the phone went click, 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 and hung up. And then all this money started pouring out of the change. And, uh, you know, it was like three or four dollars in coins came out of the phone. And I was very grateful and said, thank you, thank you so much, Lord, thank you. And went and got myself some food. Now, this type of thing could be done with technology, of course. So does that mean that does that mean that uh, I was, you know, under observation and being technologically manipulated even back then, or did God really reach down and, and miraculously answer my prayer? Um, there's been many times in my life where. I look for something, I say, I need a X, Y, Z, and the next day or shortly thereafter, I'll be walking down the street and there'll be an X, Y, Z in the garbage or, a, you know, sitting on the side of the road or, or, now, these things don't happen every time, they don't happen for every whim, every desire, every need, every requirement. Uh, so what does that mean? Is it just luck? Is it just because I live in a city of more than 12 million people, so the chances that someone will throw out an XYZ when I need one just happen to be, uh, you know? After a while, the coincidence becomes a little more than coincidental, and one has to wonder what's really going on. And, whoo, the other day I uh, was walking and it's getting cold, it's October and this is the time of year I was born and something about the change in daylight and the, the cold really kind of gets me down and, and because of the situation that we're in with uh, the infection and infestation of everything we own with horrible, biting, flitting, skin burrowing, whatever they are. Having clean clothes is almost a, a luxury. And, you know, Patriot's washing everything by hand and I'm washing anyway. And when it gets cold, all we have left is our summer clothes. Uh, which, by the way, this entire summer I had to wear long sleeve, uh, long pants and hot, you know, because we couldn't take them off because it was so horrible with this stuff getting at us. Um, anyway, 
As I was walking home, somebody had left a bag with some warm jackets. I'm wearing one now. And I couldn't tell if the jacket had already been infested with these horrible biting, flitting things, or if it was just the stuff coming off of me. <laughs> you know, so anyway, I washed it in hot, hot, hot steaming water like 10 times with soap and bleach and borax and whatnot. And hung it out to dry and I'm very grateful for however and whoever left this coat even if it was an attempt at you know, I, I don't know anymore man there's so much weird stuff happening in this world you know I can imagine that there must be many 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 people who have the same thing that I do and that you might have that don't even know it. You know, phantom itching, microscopic stuff you can't see, things invading your body that you don't know and causing illness and... And being raised in America on television, shows like Quincy and House and other shows like that are supposed to make us believe that medicine can heal us. That there are doctors who will care and actually look for the root cause of what is hurting us and try to fix it or kill it or change it or excise it or, or help us to become healthy and survive longer. I found in my case that if you find a doctor who even cares enough to listen to your story, let alone run the tests and talk with you and take samples and whatever else is required to figure out what's really going on is, is I haven't found one yet. I've barely even found doctors that will help me manage the symptoms. Now I have to fight with these people to get any relief from the horrible pain and headaches and ringing in the head and the vomiting and the fevers and the, you know, on and on and on and on. And, uh, you know, it, it, it boggles my mind that, that such a thing could occur. And uh, so now I've been labeled with various psychiatric disorders that the medications they give for them don't stop. They don't help. They don't... Possibly because I don't have these disorders in the first place. And I've tried many, many various courses of medication over the years, taking them for months and months and months and months at a time, enduring horrible side effects, until finally I said, no more! This is crap! It's hurting me! So, you know, now I'm at the point, on the verge of complete debilitation, you know, where I, I have nothing, because in my life, especially recently, I was never allowed, despite my many, many attempts at trying to build a life and a future and a savings and a retirement, and a, you know, uh, I never had the opportunity to. It was systematically <laughs> destroyed somehow, you know? Uh, and granted, a lot of it was my reactions to the things that occurred. And so I wasn't strong enough, or I wasn't smart enough, or I wasn't, you know, whatever enough. But if you systematically work to destroy someone, Nobody is strong enough, or good enough, or, you know, whatever enough to withstand repeated, continued attempts at their destruction, debilitation. Um, see, I have a, a problem with my memory now, as my brain is suffering necrosis from microvascular ischemia caused by their not saying and my cells are filled with little black 
who knows what. So I have trouble remembering the many things I wish to say. But YouTube allows me 10 minutes. That's it. Thanks for watching. God bless you all.